Welcome back to South East Division's mission series on sharing our faith, uh, particularly through the nine arts of spiritual conversations. I'm Ian Stewart and today we are going to look at the first of those nine arts, those nine things that Jesus did when he was here on earth to engage people on the first steps of their journey towards faith in him and discipleship, living life as a follower of Jesus. Today we are going to look at the spiritual art of noticing. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever noticed just how much noticing Jesus did? It starts right at the beginning of his ministry when Philip brings Nathaniel to Jesus and Jesus says to Nathaniel, I saw you sitting under the fig tree. That results in a profound response from Nathaniel and all because Jesus had noticed him. I don't know what it's like where you are, but I've noticed that people tend not to notice. They don't notice the beggar in the street. They don't notice the shop assistant who serves them. They don't notice the emotions of the person that they're talking with. They don't notice that thing that needs doing that you constantly end up doing because no one else notices it. I spoke to my younger daughter the other day and asked if I could use something that happens in our house as an example. At the top of our stairs, we have a bookcase and um, regularly on that bookcase, there will be a tray full of dishes that have come out of her room. Uh, to go downstairs into the kitchen and her mother and I will count the number of days that it takes before those dishes actually make it down to the kitchen and into the dishwasher. She just does not seem to notice them, even though they're right in front of her door whenever she walks out of her room. Her mum and I both notice it continually and we wait and we wait and we wait in the hope that she notices them and actually does something about them. That usually happens when we finally say, enough, bring them downstairs and get them in the dishwasher now. <clears throat> As part of the conversation and the permission, permission giving for this tale to be told, uh, she rightly pointed out that while she might not notice the dishes at the top of the stairs, she is very good at noticing the emotions of the people she's talking with. And it's very true. So I have to give her credit for the noticing that she does do because that noticing makes a huge difference to the people who are on the receiving end of it. Because she notices and then responds to what she notices, people open up to her. And that results in opportunities to bless those she's noticed. She's just being a loving friend. Although the just part of it is, is often a huge thing for those who've been paid attention to. And it applies to the people around us. People that we see every day. Uh, or, or people that we just vaguely notice and, and then rush on by because we're busy and, and we've got something else to do. I remember our songster leader many years ago talking about how one Sunday on the way to the morning meeting he noticed someone had broken down at the side of the road and how torn he was because his duty was to get to the meeting on time in order to play with the band and to lead the songsters. But there was a big part of him that, that was saying stop, help this person at the side of the road whom he had noticed. He spoke about it in the meeting and you could see just how conflicted he was about it. And um, we all laughed because we understood that internal conflict that he was experiencing. I think one of the things about Jesus noticing is that he seemed to build time into his schedule for the noticing to take place and for there, and for there then to be a response to it whether it was blind Bartimaeus, Zacchaeus, the woman at the well, the woman who touched the hem of his cloak, or Nathaniel, whom I mentioned earlier. Jesus noticed all of those people and stopped 
and gave them time and attention. And the results of that were incredibly powerful on each occasion. That time and attention that comes with being noticed is something that people crave, especially after the last two years when so many have been so isolated and have gone unnoticed. They want to be noticed. And who better to notice them than us, the followers of Jesus, the people who are trying to be like him, Christians, little Christs. In everything Jesus did, he was acting under the direction of the Holy Spirit as he was led by his Heavenly Father. Perhaps over the coming week and on beyond that, we could ask the Holy Spirit to direct us in our noticing, to pray the prayer at the start of the day. God, who is it that you want me to notice today? What do you want me to notice? Help me to build time into my day so that I can respond to what I notice. And then see what the results of that are. It would be great if you could respond to this uh, video by adding your comments below about what you've noticed, what your response has been, what it felt like as you um, engaged with this exercise. What is it that God is inviting you to notice? And what happens when you do it? Thanks for watching and being with us. And we'll see you again next week. God bless.